This is a good startup. Uh, let's go into here. Let's go to Sato Operation. We're going to put this in AHCI. Yes. Apply on that. Now we go to Drives. We see our three are there. Let's go to the advanced boot options. Okay. So let's turn this off. Okay. Where is it? That's right here. Okay. Here we will go into UEFI. I'm going to click apply. When I, when I install Windows 10, this will be installed in UEFI mode. Okay, so now we're going to try to install Windows 10 uh, using the UEFI. I pressed F12. <clears throat> so it takes us to our boot options here. We're going to choose UEFI boot. You can already see it's a Kingston uh, USB flash drive. I have Windows 10 Pro on it. Let's click on that. All right, now we're booted into the Windows setup. Here. I'm going to choose English uh, for everything, US keyboard. I'm going to click Next. And now I'm going to click Install Now. All right, uh, this machine came with Windows 7, and I can use the Windows 7 activation key in order to activate Windows 10. So let's try that. Okay, now that I entered the key, I'm going to click Next. And uh, you can do this with any Windows 7, Windows 8 key to activate uh, Windows 10. In this case, I have Win Windows a Windows 7 Pro key. So I will be able to activate Windows 10 Pro on this machine. All right, the key was accepted. So now I click I accept. Next, uh, this is gonna be a custom install. And now we see all the different partitions. Uh, these hard drives were all uh, they were used for something else, so I'm going to just start deleting partitions. Delete everything on this drive 0. Delete everything on the drive 1. Okay, so now we have our 120 gigabyte SSD here as drive 0 and the 500 gigabyte for drive 1. We're going to install Windows 10 on on the SSD. So let's click next. Okay, so this is starting the Windows 10 install. Uh, I'll let it finish. I'll come back when it's almost done. Okay, so here I will remove the flash drive. The one that I'm using. And now the computer will restart, hopefully into Windows 10. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna log in into my my Wi-Fi and there seems to be an FBI van somewhere around here, so let's connect to that one. Hopefully I got it right. <laughs> nice. Okay, I'm gonna click customize. I'm gonna turn everything off. I don't want anything they want to offer. Nice. No, no, no. And just turn everything off.
Okay, I own this PC. And now, type in. No password. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna click skip this step right here. So now, it's gonna be no password on this. Click next. Uh, no, I don't want to use Cortana. Uh, it might be obvious, but don't turn off your PC. Alright, so now we're booted into Windows 10. Uh, Windows is going to start installing updates and all that. Right now we don't even have a graphics driver, but uh, let's go to our file explorer and let's see. Right now we only see our local disk C, which is running the operating system. Let's bring up our D drive, so uh, we're going to type in partition. We're going to choose create and format hard disk partitions. Now we're just going to scroll down. Oh, that's right here. So disk one, right click that. It's going to be a new simple volume. Click next. Make sure that's all the way up. Uh, okay, it's going to be a D drive, but I can't put it as one right now. So let's just use the X for now. So NTFS. That's all good. Perform a quick format. Yeah, why not? And click finish. Nice. So now, let's change this to what it's supposed to be. So now our CD-ROM drive is going to be D. So let's right click that. I'm going to change the drive letter. Change. I'm going to make it E. Click OK. Yes. Alright, and now our D drive, we're going to change to D. So, our X drive, sorry, we're going to change to D. So, I'll click change on that. D drive, okay. Uh, yes. All right. So there's our D drive. And now, let's change this to data. Apply. Okay. Let's exit out of this. And we should be able to see. Our D drive. There we go. So now we have our local disk C and our data D drive where all of our libraries are going to reside. Okay, I decided to end the video there because it was getting too long. But uh, in the next video, I'll show you guys how to move your library to the secondary drive, the D drive, so that you don't end up filling up your C drive. This is my laptop and my um, C drive. I only have 500 gigabytes. This is an SSD, and um, I don't want to fill it up. If you fill up your C drive, your computer will start running slow. You start getting errors, things like that. So you don't want to end up filling up your C drive with a bunch of uh, media files. If you have a two drive system, you want to move your media files to a secondary drive usually much bigger, in this case it's an 800 gigabyte. The Optiplex 9020, this effect uh, comes up faster because the C drive is only 120 gigabytes and the D drive is 500 gigabytes. So I'm going to show you how to move your libraries as you can see here to a secondary drive. Here I'll show you just a quick preview showing you the location. The library documents, but um, I will show you guys that in the next video. And um, this video, you saw that the Optiflex uh, 9020 SFF. Uh, we installed Windows 10 Pro on it. We activated Windows 10 Pro using the Windows 7 Pro key, which we had no problems. We didn't have to do uh, own activation or anything like that. We just typed in our key and it activated automatically through the internet. And uh, that computer's not having any problems. Um, hopefully, I'll show you show you guys um, the library relocation uh, sometime in the near future. And we'll also do more tests on the 9020, showing its power consumption, its uh, performance. That computer's basically going to be used for internet browsing and some 
uh, light hand work. So nothing too fancy on that, but uh, it's really nice after having that SSD. Everything else up super fast. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Like the video if you liked it, and please don't dislike it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to comment, and I will answer as soon as I read, get the email and read the comment. I uh, will try to answer all your questions uh, promptly. So again, thank you guys for watching, and see you in the next one.